Food as a subject, symbol and metaphor has been present in visual communication since the beginning of time. When the painters at Lascaux drew those animals, perhaps they had dinner in mind. Food has figured in images of the holy family, of lavish court banquets and humble peasant life. It has been represented with many different media or has become the media itself. We can say that it is culturally effective by the time in which it was created as well as the time period in which it is viewed. If we look back at the most ancient evidence of artwork, our ancestors' favourite subjects were mainly hunting scenes depicting animals such as bisons, bulls or goats. This reminds us that they had the fulfilment of hunger and nutrition as key concepts. Throughout history, food has been a true protagonist in many art expressions. Hunting scenes, references to agriculture, dinners, feasts. If we consider ancient Greek vases, these are pieces of art as well as design, related to food not only in their functions of carrying, mixing, serving and drinking, but also for the scenes which they are decorated with. While in ancient symposiums or religious themed scenes, food played an important role, although it was not the only focus of attention, with the still life, it became the central element of interest. This type of painting can give us lots of information regarding the customs of the time, of the courts, or the passing of the seasons. Its origins go back to the Middle Ages and ancient Greco-Roman art, and still life painting emerged as a distinct genre and professional specialization in Western painting by the late 16th century. The still life gained great popularity among artists, allowing great freedom in the composition alongside allegorical and symbolic choices. In the 19th century, Impressionists and Post-Impressionists often chose meals, beverage and food elements or scenes of harvest as their subjects. This tendency of representing quite common, everyday images insisting on innovative styles and techniques influenced the artists that are considered the protagonists of Cubism, Futurism and other artistic movements that emerged at the beginning of the 20th century. In the second half of the 20th century, thanks to artists such as Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein, pop art gained popularity after years of great interest towards abstract expressionism. As far as the pop art scene in America goes, food seems to have been given a central importance it represents a major outlet for spending income in a society increasingly oriented towards mass consumerism. From french fries to burgers, cakes, beer, coca-cola, food has remained an all-time favourite inspiration with American pop culture portrait artists. We can say that food be it subject matter or the medium itself, provides the viewer with a message that is culturally affected. In the last few decades, with the development of a variety of artistic movements, ideas and practices, food has often been employed directly by artists, not just represented. It has been used as part of videos, performances, happenings, installations, for example, adapting to all kinds of media. With the invention of photography, food and beverages have become a more and more relevant subject. Photography initially followed the same principles of traditional painting and its genres, such as portrait, landscape and particularly still life. 
photography provided a powerful tool to define people's lives, their jobs, social status, and eating habits. In the last few decades, with the huge development of advertising, often related to food products, the figure of the food photographer and food stylist was born. In the same way that art is affected and linked to the area in which it is born, food is a direct expression of the climate, the traditions and customs of a certain geographical or regional area. Today, especially in larger cities, it is possible to sample food from all over the world in a sort of globalisation of taste. On the other hand, there is a growing attention towards purchasing food produced locally and towards the origin of ingredients. As we have seen in the course of history, one of the recurring themes of art is the representation of the act of eating or drinking together. Eating is essentially a social act where people share not only food and beverages, but also views, ideas and jokes even, in conversation. Meals, be they among few or many people, simple or sophisticated, are a rather common subject, especially in the visual arts. In the Western world, wine and other beverages have always played an important part in art, particularly in painting, which is virtually the ideal means of representation for them. Except from hearing, wine is capable of involving all the senses, touch, sight, smell and taste. Therefore, it seems almost natural that painting and wine have often crossed paths. This type of item allowed the artist to display their skill of observation and description of colour, shape and texture. Graphic design and advertising are at the heart of the packaging that is employed to contain and to sell food products. Today, there is a great attention towards the environment and to recycling packaging as well as reducing waste. Since the Industrial Revolution and industrialization, and also the presence of packed food for consumers, packaging has provided a sort of canvas for designers a space where to convey a message by means of colour, shape and text. In the last decades, fast food chains have become hugely popular. They were initially conceived to deliver quick meals to the vast public in any part of the world. Fast food chains have been criticised for many reasons in the last few years, because of their lack of care towards the environment and because of health reasons. In recent years, there has been the growth of a slow food culture which focuses on eating more healthy, locally grown products in order to create more awareness towards what we eat and a more enjoyable and responsible approach to eating, underlining food in general as a social fact. These are just a few ideas, but let's have a look at a few activities concerning food and art. For example, in the same way as the Pantomo, the Mannerist painter of masterpieces such as the Deposition from the Cross and the Visitation, try and register for a period what you eat and illustrate it in a journal. Or try and represent the same subject, for example a still life, with at least five different media or draw out two healthy food items and two unhealthy food items and then using food or other media try and make a small food sculpture at last in groups choose a recipe and illustrate it 